Hi folks, it's John Eisman from LastChanceAutoStore.com and today we are standing behind this Porsche kit car, 1957 Porsche 356. In the last video we shared with you what the engine looked like underneath with our header exhaust system and our tailpipes installed and we were just dry fitting everything in. So if the camera can come a little bit closer into the engine bay, um, some of this is just temporary and I apologize for all the dust because we've got quite a bit of dust build up here. Um, it's just dusty here in the shop. So these are just temporary lines that we've set up for now because we have the engine in place. We've set up the carbs and uh, the pivot points for both carburetors. We haven't synchronized everything and we haven't set the timing. So basically what we've done is we have everything really close. So we set it in, we've wired everything up, we have the break-in oil in it, and we've braked in the, we broke in the engine, sorry. So the engine is now, it's, it's, we followed the break-in procedure. Because we have a new crank, camshaft, um, lifters, basically everything internal is brand new on this engine. Um, we have the nice, um, the special oil that you use to, when you go to reassemble, so all the bearings were lubricated properly, and then we have the break-in oil in the car now, and then we've, we've broken the engine in, we've set up the revs, we've done the duration that our camshaft people um, insist on having to break it in properly. So I'm excited for our client who lives far away, for him to not only see, but to hear the engine. Um, so it's, uh, there's a couple of things I'd like to point out. Number one, it's really dusty. Number two, all the details not done yet. We just, we have this for crankcase pressure, we just have these lines on temporary. This is not what it's going to look like when it's completed. We still have to do uh, quite a bit of detail work underneath and inside the engine bay, and we still have to set the carbs and, um, and fine tune everything. So um, the main purpose, the engine's broken in. I want to be able to start it and run it, and uh, hopefully the camera, the microphone can pick up because I'm really excited about the tone and the responsiveness. So this engine is quite snappy. The response time when you hit the accelerator um, is incredible. So I'm really happy with the response of that and it will only be better once it's tuned. Um, and the other thing that I'm really happy with and hopefully our client will be able to notice it through the microphone of this um, camera is this Volkswagen header system and pipes. The sound is very distinctive and it doesn't sound wimpy, if you will. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'll start the car. Because it's just been broken in, um, there might be a little bit of a puff that starts, which is gonna be excessive fuel because we don't have everything set perfectly yet. So don't be alarmed if there's a little bit of a puff that comes out from the tailpipe. But what we'll do is we're gonna rev it up, we're gonna let it idle, we'll rev it up a few times because I'm hoping we'll be able to hear the nice exhaust sound. So basically I'll just, um, I'll just fire it up now, and I'll be quiet while the engine's running. So you'll notice the idle is just a little bit rough. The engine is rocking a little bit, and it will smooth out. We're going to have to shift the, uh, the polished alternator pulley. So there's a little bit of a noise coming from there. Then we'll have to set the car because it's not going to shake like this. However, with the electronic distributor and the high energy coil, the engine is much happier. We've got a cam, more aggressive cam, lifters, and the exhaust. Okay, so just notice how responsive and how snappy the engine is.
so hopefully that picks up the sound. There's a couple of things. Um, there's a little tiny bit of a backfire, and that's we don't have the timing set exactly right. So there's a little tiny bit of a flutter and there's a little bit of a popping. Um, so that will be cured once we do the fine tuning. It's just an exciting time for us because with the engine being built and placed in and broken in, we wanted to share the sound of this with our client. So this, uh, once again, uh, this is a, a Porsche kit car, 1957 Porsche kit car. So the engine, it's not crazy performance. What we've done is we've taken a normal 1590cc engine. It's now 1641. So we went with larger pistons and pots. Um, and then we've gone with a different camshaft, um, different lobes on the cam and on the gearing, and then the tuned exhaust. Because what we want to be, I mean, electronic ignition. So with the electronic distributor and so on, and dual carbs, it's just an overall um, happier engine and almost maintenance free in terms of overall drivability. Um, so just a quick little update. Uh, we'll share more once we have it tuned and detailed. So I'm John from LastChanceAutoRestore.com.